Welcome to our vivid room. It's gonna be our vivid room, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, we're gonna fill this whole wall with art. This bench with art. This with art. Your heart with art. My heart with art. Thank you very much for uh, your comments. Uh, I got a lot of comments last week about my hair, playing with the hair, and all that. I will actually try to uh, avoid that this week. Uh, and also, thank you very much for our potty man who's uh, giving a lot of energy for this program uh, and uh, make, making me uh, doing these things. And uh, thank you very much for him also for editing and everything. Uh, uh, start to enjoy this process. And um, please do comment, uh, keep at it. And, uh, uh, Today's topic, I was like really thinking about what is the topic I should really talk about this week. So this topic has, uh, I have thought about this topic for a long time, right? So today also I thought I will actually talk about films because I think that is my bread and butter. So I have a better understanding about that craft than talking about other crafts of uh, other means of art but i will actually move on to talk about other means of art as well i will try to meet other people who has a better idea about other means of art and i'm very interested to know all this um, so make a adobe kalakarana balaburuttu wenne film school versus the reality that is my topic today film school versus reality let's go to our episode do 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 I wish I could play a music, man. I have no skill in playing music, but I want to really acquire music skill. So uh, we'll see. Yeah. Ega na hita na kote. Mada me daos ka apu idea. Tama actor na About film school. I want to talk about film school. Well, I went to a film school. To be honest, I went to a film school that is in Australia, which is a leading film school, arguably. ඕන එකක් ගැන කියන්න පුළුවන් නේ අංගිබලි ෆිල්ම් ස්කූල් එක එක හොඳයිද නැද්ද එහෙම කියන එක කියන්න පුළුවන් බට් ඇයි වෙන් ටු අ වෙරි ගුඩ් වන් ඉන් මයි ඔපිනියන් සෝ ඒකේ ඒකේ එක්ස්පීරියන්ස් එක තමයි මට තිබුණේ මේන්නේ ලයික් ඇයි ෆවුන් ලයිෆ් ඉන් ජනරල් ටු ස්ටාර්ට් වෙත් බිකොස් ඇයි වොස් ලයික් 20 ඉයර්ස් ඕල් වෙන් ඇයි වෙන් දෙයා 22 ඉයර්ස් ඕල් වගේ ගිහිල්ලා දැන් ඇයි ෆවුන් ජනරලි ලයිෆ් එක ගැන දැන් එතකොට අර ලොන්ටි කරගන්න ඕනේ ऐडिया <laughs> किसीम लिमिट क्राफ्ट प्राक्टिस सो यू मेक लॉट ऑफ शॉर्ट फिल्म एंड यू गेट रियल टाइम फीडबैक फॉर दैट एक एक बैक फील फील स्कूल के दिन मेन में कहता है मुंगा शॉर्ट फिल्म साधारण ना बट ट्रांस से कहां पे ना मुंगा लाइक माइंडेड पीपल मिनी सो टेक एगोल और टाटा कर समाहर के और अपने दिन में फीडबैक क्या देना है मेक हेड करना है मेक वेड करना है मेक तो मैं वाकर नो नहीं ब्ला 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 विदिन मार प्रैक्टिस से के नो एक तो मैं अनेक तरह में मेक थी फिल्म मेकिंग वाला दिन हम देख में अपने टच करना है समाहर के इफ यू वांट टू बिकम अ डायरेक्टर मे बी नॉट you you can't just learn directing you will have to learn editing you will have to learn cinematography all these things apita ponta ponta tankala touch karanna puluwam ena eka eka texture ekke minisuth ekka then i had lot of parties party like a peep that right so <laughs> i experienced all the drugs i can possibly think of uh and also uh, i drank a lot to be honest now i don't drink that much but um a a and it's like a cross culture experience ek ek you you drink with these japanese people you drink with these italian to uh, weird as uh germans uh, do a lot of 
other things uh, that I don't want to talk about here. So, a experience I think that I am more than a life that I am craft na wagi idea. But ah, Devani ke thamai you get. Ani Devani ke kena hatli sata ke kante ma kiwa. Ila ke thamai like you get to watch lot of bloody films. Then mama mama film school lekar ni ana kote. But the which scene ne ka thamai me mama. मैं कभी कभी फिल्म स्कूल जाने में बोले नया की तो मटे तो ना मुझे मटा हुई चाहिए क्या है कि तो मैं मां फिल्म स्कूल लेके टाइम पर मां फिल्म बाल बाल ही टी वेन में सेट टाइम क्योंकि नया तो ना बोलना स्टीवन स्पीलबर्ग वाके फिल्म में कुछ ता तो मैं मटा ऐसे ना मार इन्फ्लुएंस आया करी स्टीवन स्पीलबर्ग की Type of cinema, like the popular culture cinema, is completely different when you go to films. We get matter him discover or not, but not necessarily in the film school. But I discovered that in the film school because I had a massive library that I can go to watch a film. And there we can I can take a film home. This is I'm talking about DVD era also. Okay, I don't know how the film schools work but at the more at that time it was like dvd era so you can take films home you can watch it you can keep it for the weekend and you can study it fantastic so when with that i discovered filmmakers like martin scorsese wanka why i discovered filmmakers like uh uh oberto pasoloni you discovered people like i don't know kubrick one of the best filmmakers of all time so i find Amazing stuff like that, and you get influence, right? And you want to do the God next Godfather, but you see, you get you know. So I finished film school, then I moved to Sri Lanka. Pa 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 pa. I got a boat to it. I got Australia out in Nepal. I got opposite scene. I got one hour. I got a plane to Australia. 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 But I came with lot of hope, to be honest. I came with lot of hope because I can, I, I, I want to make lot of films. I want to collaborate. I want to work. And but the reality start hitting you right after you finish film school, because you understand, you get to understand. You don't have lot of things to do with the film school qualification. You spend lot of time learning, lot of money learning, but you don't have lot of other things you can do. You can just make films. You can become a waiter. Yes. Qualified from the film school, you can become a waiter. You know, nobody give a sh. You are, you came from film school, bro. Nobody give a. Sh okay. I. It took me a time to realize that nobody give a. Sh and I now, I really don't give a sh that I went to a film school also. To be honest, why? Because really, to him, you under, you start to understand that you are broke to start with, because you are in a. Trent, man, you are in the bloody. You, we feel like you are the next big thing in Hollywood. You are the next big thing in cinema. F you, you feel like a motherfucker with that broke ass, no money bullshit. You know what I mean? So it's gonna be very hard. It's gonna be very hard when you hit the reality. Secondly, you are trying to get something off the ground. Then short film mega khada na kote hare. When you are in film school, the idea is when you are in film school, you get a lot of friends with same ambitions, like I told you, and you have a lot of access to equipment, you have a lot of access to editing gear and all that, and you can actually get together and make a film. You just have to find a way to actually feed your crew, basically. So you can find up and coming actors who want to have stuff in their showreel. So you can actually do a lot of things. These friends, I made a lot of friends by the way, and they I have. I've met a lot of friends, and a couple of them have stayed with me for life. You know, I have mentioned George and Dave; they are brothers to me, and uh, I will share this video. I hope you will watch this year. Okay. Anyway, uh, so uh, so you you get together with friends, and you actually try to make a film. But when you actually in the filmmaking business, if the reality is completely different, try to get something off the ground is not that easy because. Say now in a country like Sri Lanka, you can actually make a film by getting together with friends. I have done that before. I will do it again. But the problem is when you doing it with no money, dude, there are a lot of problems that you have to solve because you have to rent your gear. Maybe uh, now the gear is like more accessible, but you have to rent some gear, uh, and also sometimes. Uh, 
the people that you want to collaborate with they don't have the time slot and you, you are not paying them so you have to respect their time where we, they can actually go and do stuff that they can earn money you can't actually block that so you have to be respectful of that all these things come to uh, play right so uh, so sometimes the project that you want to do without money takes long time to do and a lot of commitment and you are the only one who's in that project for the longest time you know what I mean so it won't it, it is not the easy thing to do bro. Uh, but I have done it and it was enjoyable if you don't enjoy this process that is the that's the other thing I want to tell the reality as a filmmaker is sort of like it's a lifestyle that you have to accept if you don't accept that lifestyle, don't fucking do it <laughs> because you will not succeed. So you need to actually accept, I'm going to be broke as <laughs> for a long time, but when start, things start to happen, it'll be all right, you know? So you will have to do some commission work to actually stay on, on to live basically, to make money. You will have to do commission stuff that might not actually be fun to do. You will have to do shit that you don't really care about most of the time. You know what I mean? Uh, and uh, you will have to uh, say, "Oh sir, nah sir, oh pura sir, no problem, no problem." Hardly ma kya but topic karo. Kela karan hai. So shit, you don't like that. And uh, now mobile photography and mobile video is like so much there. Um, so people think everybody can make a video. Everybody literally can make a video right now. So why the specialty is important, I have no clue. But uh, with a specialty, what you can bring is the expertise to make it look good, make it look uh, funky, maybe make it look uh, clear communication without distraction. So these professional things come to, to play. Again, okay. come to reality. Uh, so and at a point. When I start made, making my first film, it was this was in 2013. When I was actually making my first film, I realized I don't understand bullshit. But I didn't learn shit at film school. What I've done is like I've done a lot of parties, right? So I'm not I'm not studying shit. Uh, that's what I realized uh, because when we making the first film and you are working with like real professionals who have done it for a long time and a lot of equipment comes in you get shit shit scared because you you know you you be working with like the three people who knows how the camera do the sound and editing maybe whatever and you have like what two boxes of gear but when you actually doing a short film it's like two, two trucks three trucks worth of gear comes in and you get scared man I was scared and I crash landed two projects I failed like a two films okay but it is expensive to fail in the film industry when having saying that, like to say this it's okay to fail but it's expensive to fail in the film industry you know because it's a very expensive industry to make films so I failed two projects um, didn't get picked up by distributors but I want to get it, uh, distributed at one time at some point uh, but uh, I learned a lot because number one thing I learned that when you come out of film school you, are, you think that you know your shit. First thing you realize you don't know any shit, right? You are like a blank as a fucking piece of paper, right? You don't know anything and there's so much to learn. And working with professional actors, it's a completely different ball game to understand, to work towards a budget, work towards a sort of like a schedule uh, and a lot of people are relying on you to make the right choice all these are if you don't enjoy it's going to be a lot of pressure on you but how did I learn this only by making a film I don't think any film school in the entire bloody universe that includes all the universes that we don't even know all the multiverses can teach you how it feels and how it like to make a film right uh, so you need to actually learn that by yourself by doing it maybe do a lot of short films that <coughs> try to get funding for short films that will actually open up for pitching getting money for the, your project so that gonna be very interesting to see uh, so that that is very interesting and, and at a point you fail and fail and fail you realize one thing for me I realized Damn, I've been trying to do, I tried, I was trying to do something that already have done by other great filmmakers and I was so influenced by those filmmakers, I wanted to do the same. That's what happened. 
I want to do the same. And what and it is not an original voice at the end. The idea is to actually find that original voice. So idea is to actually find that voice. Film school can actually help you to find a lot of inspiration, but by making films and starting starting to be in that process only, you will find your voice. So I found my voice after only failing like multiple times. I mean like for now last 15 years I've been failing. I've not been successful. Right? Then I'm I'm okay with it, but I'm I'm sad about it because I spend I I, I, I crash land a lot of projects. It's not fun anyway. So um uh so you realize that your voice is different and that voice I found now I think and I'm writing something and always being that process is also important if you give up you give up because this is this is not something that someone can actually give you in your hand nobody will actually give you give something in your hand I know a lot of filmmakers who have made 10 15 films that prove that they have proved themselves as filmmakers but still having hard time to actually uh, actually make making his new project you know getting that off the ground is difficult so film is not that easy to actually get it on uh, so uh, I found my voice so for example throughout my early days I have I've been very passionate about photography and uh, what happened was like I, 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 I dropped that and I didn't do anything about photography but recently what I found is shit my my i should really practice doing photography because then my mind gets sharper i see stuff i can capture stuff i can i can think about color i can think about black and white because i don't understand color i do some on uh, black and white so that likewise your mind gets sharpened with photography and you start to look at stuff on the frame uh, compose stuff so you keep on practicing when you do a commercial or commission work you might not be able to do this do what you want artistically so if you do stuff like photography and all that you can actually have that freedom of doing that so try to also get out and make a film that is the only advice I can give without making a film without failing you will not understand filmmaking so what I have what what is different between you and me I went to a film school I, I made films and failed and everything what is different between you and me is that my experience to get to my experience you have to go through that fuck it's sweating like a pig and also like it's really hot in Sri Lanka so making films in Sri Lanka it's hard bro anyway uh, so get, go out make films that is the only way to do that uh, and 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 once you realize your voice when you understand your voice everything changes I told you that I realized that I don't have any clue what film school taught me. But when you find your voice, everything starts to make sense. And that is like an enlightenment moment. Ta -da! Right? And that enlightenment moment, you realize, oh my god. Oh, this is what these filmmakers talk about. You can, you and me can watch the same interview from a filmmaker and understand it differently, right? So you can, like, one of the most influential filmmakers of all time is Steven Spielberg. For me and for the rest of a lot of filmmakers out there, if you watch that filmmakers with my experience, if you watch an interview from that a filmmaker with my experience and very less experience, you will. Uh, you and I will understand that interview in a very different ways, right? So you need to get out there and make films. That is the only way of doing it. And why I'm so passionate and why I'm so hyped about this is that this is a sickness. This is a sickness, bro. You think I'm not gonna do this shit anymore. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna actually become a labor. I'm gonna cut grass. You will always have to come back to this. You know? uh, in Australia, I used to be a gardener, thinking about making big films, uh, making money, meeting pretty women, and partying on a yacht or whatever. And now I am still a broke ass filmmaker, thinking about I should have, I, I, I should actually get into gardening and make some money. <laughs> so it's hard. 
it, the idea is to actually uh, keep at it and be consistent and do what you do and try to find your voice. How do you find your voice through only making films? I'm telling you, you can watch films at home, you can read every book in the entire world about filmmaking, but you will not find your voice. So to find your voice, you will have to make films, fail, you need to understand the craft that we will talk about next week, how to understand about craft, um, I think. Uh, so I think that's what I want to say. Did I say anything uh, particularly interesting in this thing? I don't know. Uh, so please bear with me. Uh, please give feedback, be honest, brutally honest. Uh, and uh, with that I think uh, we will be able to find something here. And uh, I'm going to invite some people also, filmmakers. I'm going to try, try to invite uh, other artists to have a chat. And uh, hopefully it will turn out to be something. And uh, I don't know, how are we going to finish this program? <laughs>